This week in West Virginia, the state's latest milestone when it comes to jobs became official. 2019 was West Virginia's best full year of employment numbers in more than a decade. Governor Jim Justice announced that the average total employment for the year was 759,000, the highest year-long jobs average since 2008. Also this week, the governor joined teachers, students, and Elk River community members for a groundbreaking ceremony, celebrating the start of site preparation for the new Herbert Hoover High School in Elkview. Every day that's gone by that we haven't had this school in the process of being rebuilt is a day unnecessary. I know how hard it's been, but I also know how hard everybody's worked to make it a reality. The Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs hosted several events this week honoring the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., including an awards luncheon celebrating student artwork, an ecumenical service where the Governor's Living the Dream Award was presented, and a bell ringing ceremony at the State Capitol Complex in Charleston. On Monday, Governor Justice and Delegate Daniel Linville celebrated the reactivation of the West Virginia Employee Suggestion Award Board, awarding a combined total of more than $4,400 to a pair of public employees whose suggestions will save the state tens of thousands of dollars every year. To anyone in government, if you can come up with an idea that the board approves, that the board thinks is legit and is going to work, we're going to reward you for coming up with that idea. And so a percentage of the savings the first year, we give back. And on Wednesday, the governor spoke to economic development leaders from across the state at the annual West Virginia Economic Development Council Legislative Conference. You can find more on these stories and many others in the West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.